You ever come up with an idea that's both dumb and amazing, you just know you gotta go and try to do it? Well, this was one of those times. And to do that, we'll be writing some code on a piece of paper, we'll be taking a picture of it with a camera, running it through Google Vision AI, and then executing the output as if it were source code. And obviously this entire process will be automated. I got this idea from a Galaxy Brain meme that came across from the programmer humor bot that posted to my Discord. I couldn't find the exact meme again to show you here, but it was basically showing increasingly complex ways to run code. And at the very top with the small brain one was clicking the run button in IDE, and then the galaxy brain version at the bottom was to do it this way, scan in handwritten code and run it like that. And I thought, you know what, that can definitely be done, and so here we are. Before I start writing code, I want to give a quick demo on Google Vision AI, because that ultimately is the special sauce that's doing all the hard work here. Think of Google Vision AI as some really advanced OCR that can also do handwritten text really well that's delivered through an API. The reason that shows this over just generic OCR that you can download on Linux is because this has really good handwriting recognition and my handwriting is very bad. They have a little demo here that we can do and I'm just gonna upload a screenshot I took of some source code on my computer. And you can see that it's shown a bunch of different attributes, like it knows it's font, it knows it's dark background, electric blue, screenshot, stuff like that. But what we're really interested in is the text. And you can see that it's identified some areas with some text and it showed you what the actual text is here on the right hand side. Obviously this format's not overly useful for what we're trying to do, but in the actual JSON response that comes back from their API, they have a description field, which is just the raw data. And this is just everything it finds concatenated together, which is exactly what we're going to use. And we're going to take this and we're going to pass it to the JavaScript interpreter as source code. So first step is we need the handwritten source code. I've hooked up a second webcam and I've written up some source code here. The code is fairly simple. It's a five element array followed by a loop, which will loop over every element in the array. So the resulting output should be hello world five times. Since my program's not going to be able to access the webcam at the same time my video recording software is, I'm going to have to turn this camera off now. This program's going to consist of three main parts. The first is going to be the actual capturing of one frame from the webcam, and for that we'll use child process and exec and call into ffmpeg to get the frame. The second part is going to be sending it over to Google Vision AI for analysis, and the third part is going to be interpreting the response as JavaScript source code. Capturing the frame is fairly simple. We're calling it to ffmpeg. We're specifying that we want a full-size image, that our input device is slash dev slash video one. We want one frame, and we want to save it as code.jpg. Since the Google Vision AI documentation says we have to pass a base64 version of the image, the next step will be actually reading the file code.jpg and then converting it to base64. We'll stop here to test just to make sure it's working good so far. We'll do so just by outputting the base64 version of the image. So when we run run.js, two things should happen. The first thing should be that it should create a file called code.jpg, and then it should output base64 to the screen. So there's our base64. If we then check our directory, we now have a code.jpg file that we just created. The next step is to send the image over to Google Vision AI for analysis. And to do that, I looked at the documentation, and I found the URL. It told me I had to specify my key here, and then it showed me the actual request body that I needed to send over to them. The main two things of interest here is the base64 version of the image that we're sending here, and then we have to pick a feature, and that feature is going to be document text detection. And then in the big response that comes back, the thing that we're interested in is the full text annotation, and this is going to be the thing that I showed you in the JSON from the demo. So we'll stop here to test real quick, and we'll just see what it's sending back for code. And we'll go ahead and run it. And it's actually almost exactly what I wrote. There's a couple small problems, like it didn't detect the space after ARR and after the equal sign, but everything else is perfect and it's correct enough to where it should run. Then the last step is we pass the code to a function called eval, which will take in a string that is assumed to be JavaScript source code and then run it as if it's source code. And then the last thing to do is see if the whole thing works. So we run it and our code executes perfectly. So there you have it. We successfully went from written code to output in the terminal. Something I thought would be hilarious to do is to do handwriting code recursion. Basically handwriting code that takes a picture of handwritten code. I made a small attempt at that, but it was just too much code to handwrite and it just wasn't accurate enough. But it was still hilarious all the same. Anyway, I had a great time making this. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you also learned something along the way too. If you have any questions about anything you saw, please be sure to leave them below in the comments. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.